Hi there, this is Tina Hughes from builderwebsitetonight.com. In today's newsletter, I want to ask you, how big is your web page? Now, that might seem like a bizarre question, but the point I'm trying to get across is that we all design our websites according to the software that we use or the browser that we use or the size of our computer screen. But do we always think about the person who's going to be reading the page? That is, the person on the other side of the world who lands on our website. Now what I'd like to quickly show you today is that we may design our web page for our own monitor but we really really need to be thinking about other people and the size of their monitors. So if you learn something today let it be that when you design your website think about the person who's got the smallest computer monitor and that might be a netbook or a laptop. Now I happen to be working on a laptop at home in my home office so that works great for me. If you happen to have a large screen you might want to take up all that fabulous real estate and design something whiz bang. Let me show you a tool that can show you how much of your site is seen by other people. Now the link here on the screen is this one. It's browsersize.googlelabs.com Let's pop over there right now and have a look, shall we? When you first see this screen, you might be wondering what on earth it's all about because it's a little bit hard to tell. Uh, but what happens is, if you look across the top of the screen here, this is measured in pixels. So you can see the numbers here. So that's 250, 300, 350, etc. So if you design your site that is approximately 600 pixels wide, which is this number here, and approximately 350 pixels deep then the majority of people that purple section that lilac section the majority of people can see that page well actually everyone can see that that part of or that size of a page as your web design gets wider it's harder and harder for people to be able to see the page if they have a small uh, computer or small monitor so what they're saying here, on um, they're saying 30% of visitors can't see the donate button which is at the bottom of the screen simply because they just can't, they have to scroll or they might not have access or, or for whatever reason. So what this little chart is trying to show you that if you make your main content visible to everyone who comes to your website so it's in the top left hand corner of the screen if we look at these dimensions again 350 by, by 600 everyone can see that much of your screen so if you've got a button if you've got an action that you want someone to take if you want someone to click on something that's going to either be a sign up to your newsletter or would you like them to buy your product or would you like them to read more put those buttons in the top left hand side of your screen is an excellent position but definitely within the 600 by 350 pixel range so in that lilac section of the screen and I think this uh, page that Google's done is very clever just to show people that you know you might have a monitor that's 1350 pixels wide but if I'm on a laptop I can't see the, most of that web page and I'm not going to sit there and scroll to the right or keep scrolling down just to be able to see a web page um, you know you've got so little time I think it's about five or six seconds to grab someone's attention so let's make it important so pop over to browsersize.googlelabs.com to have a look thanks for following along today this is Tina Hughes from build a website tonight with my almost weekly your biz hot tips video ciao for now have a fabulous day, whatever you're doing. Bye.